So guys, I just came from the anti-crime office uh, to report the case to do with uh, my boss, uh, people or scammers using his name to scam his followers. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Irene underscore Jeb. And guys, you know, before I actually use or before I step on this uh, place here, I want to take this opportunity to appreci appreciate uh, Sister Sharon. Guys, I'm really tired. <clears throat> I went through an intense fitness training today and I feel very tired. I even feel like I don't have the energy to keep talking but i have to i have to put a video out there today so before i step on this grass let me take this opportunity to appreciate our sister sharon guys uh the shoes are as brand like i don't know even how to put that uh english but i hope you understand so i want to actually go to some place um i don't know if i should tell you about this but I hope you know of the issue to do with uh, this as commerce who impersonate the travel command. So before I continue uh, with the story, let me give a big shout out to Deep East Safaris, guys. He actually gifted us these hoodies and today it's uh, it has saved me a lot because as you can see, it's actually raining. I was supposed to go out one hour ago, but the skies, guys, the skies are dark, meaning that it's going to rain most uh, of this day or part of this day, if not most. So it actually rained, but not that big. So guys, um, I want to go to a nearby, a nearby place where I can actually get to know how to handle the issue to do with uh, these scammers who are impersonating the travel commando. So the office that I am going, it's called Directorate of Criminal Investigation. So this year, I want to go and hand over uh, these uh, screenshots and the numbers, but the number is the most um, important one to be handed over to the DCI so that uh, they can investigate and if possible, if they can arrest uh, this particular impersonator who is actually like um, trying to scam Ayamara's uh, followers by pretending to be partnering with Ayamara. So, guys, let's be vigilant and get to understand how these people work. So, uh, today I'm going to walk. I didn't go with my bicycle uh, because of the rains, you know, and at the same time because of the fatigue. But it's only three times in a day, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Only those three days. That's when I get to have this intense uh, training. But Tuesday, Thursday, and I don't go mostly on Saturdays. I don't go on Saturdays because uh, the kids are there. And now, this week, I don't know <laughs> how I'm going to plan myself. But but then it's only on uh, Wednesday and Friday. I really love <laughs> these uh, three days of the week because, you know, the instructor is just concentrating on the people that are within the fitness or 
with those that who are within the gym, that's what I can say. Like they just, it trains you from start to the end. And we always begin at 7 a.m. and end at 9 a.m. And is there with you, pushing you, pushing us all of, all, all of us, basically. And that's what I always love. Guys, I really got motivated when I got to know about uh, me losing two kilograms just recently. And since then, I have been very, very disciplined when it comes to diet, following diet. Like it has really encouraged me and... I've always felt happy about uh, the fitness journey and everything to do with it. And now, nowadays, like totally, 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 like I just avoid uh, sugar and carbohydrates because you see, today I was able to endure the fitness types from the beginning. And I did not have long breaks at any particular point. Always, I will just like uh, do this uh, type of fitnesses, but then rest a lot. I would always rest a lot um, in the middle of the fitness type. But for today, somehow... You know, since I got to know about me losing two kgs, I avoided things that I needed to avoid or I followed uh, the diet and I've been very happy about it since it, it encouraged me more and more. And guys, like even today, even if it's uh, taking sugar, it should be, for me, I just take a very minimum amount. Not like I reduced actually the quantity of uh, the sugar that I take in. And I avoid most of the foods that actually has fat in it. And if I feel like, de uh, like drinking caffeine, I prefer to take um, maybe coffee because coffee, the ingredients of it is only the coffee granules only. And I just don't like, I am just, I, I just love the fact that I am loving and enjoying this fitness journey. You know, it is one thing to enjoy, to love it. And it is another one to do it for the public or for someone and it's another thing to be forced to do it if you just love doing something then everything flows everything flows you know so one thing that i have learned throughout this fitness journey is that diet is key you know me i've never taken into consideration about diet like us, we will just eat anything which is available. We will eat rice from Monday to Saturday and maybe substitute it with some other foods which are still carbohydrates. So you see, there is no diet there. But once you avoid a, a, a lot of carbohydrates, you feel lighter, very light and I just love this. You see, sometimes I just sit down and I'm like, why didn't I realize about these things when I was young? Why didn't I realize about it? And now, anyway, God's timing is the best. That's what I do believe in. God's timing is the best. And again, I, I believe that it depends, uh, with maybe when it comes to how you were brought up and things to do with that. I thought, Sasa, yeah. I thought, uh, the friends that I met here, yeah. what's your name? Hmm? What's your name? Brian. Brian. Who's gay? Okay. My name is Irene. Yeah. Look at this guy. <laughs> it's like telling us, I don't want to speak. What about you, sir? 
Uh, me, I'm good. Uh-huh. My name's uh, Collins Juma. Uh-huh. Normally work in California. But, California, uh, yeah. yeah. This is Kamomo. But, yeah, by the way, we are in California. Yeah. <laughs> Not the California in United States. California. This area, yeah, this area. And going to the other side is California. What do you do? Uh, probably I normally do mechanic. Mechanic. Oh. For some kind of, some, some, but for, for some of my parts, I do car wash. Oh, normally. Wow. Well, trying everywhere. Yeah. The in spirit life, of hustling. Yeah, that is wow. the spirit of we do normally hustle. Imagine. In Kenya. Yeah. What about you? I'm just hustling. Yeah, you also do car wash? Yeah, hey, we are at car wash here. Oh, wow. Well. Sawa, sawa, Santi. Thank Bye-bye. you. Bye bye. So that is it, guys. Uh, it seems I'm going to walk for a long distance, but I'll just keep uh, looking around. Oh, I almost stepped on mud. And the good thing is that the old shoe has not gone in. I really feel proud with these shoes. They are really nice. I feel proud. Like, I ju- I'm just, I feel like I'm just walking with confidence. You know, normally I would wear Crocs and you know, those are, those are actually Crocs are the lowest, the lowest, um, oh, how do I put it? Something, it's something very cheap and most of the people wear it in their homes. The homestead basically, but you see me, I wear everywhere, even if it's going to town. Even today, I would have worn it if I didn't have these shoes. But the shoes are making me feel very confident. <laughs> uh, Toto. So, uh, guys, I'll just keep walking around here. If I knew actually the sun would come out this uh, strong, I would have taken the bike. But now, the weather really confused me. It looked like it was going to rain immediately and for a very long uh, period. And I decided to actually uh, board a matatu. And now I'm looking for transport, but at the same time, a shop. So uh, there is someone who wants uh, to sponsor, I don't know. I think we have a shop here, but you see me, I want to do some, this one, you close it from, yeah, shop to me. Well, let me ask here. You know, guys, I have been walking from the house for how many minutes? For so long, I didn't check. But uh my main point is, Always, <laughs> before I attended uh, the gym, like from the house to the main road, to the main road, used to be very far. And from the main road there, where um, I we call Sinai, two junction where I am heading to, used to be very far that I would board a motorbike or a car. In this case, uh, the PSV is quite cheaper. So the funny thing is, today I have been walking. Like, I have been, despite the fact that uh, I was feeling very tired, like, I just feel very light and not tired in some way. And imagine, guys, <laughs> I have been through... um Oh my God, it wants to rain. So I went for a very serious, a very tough um, fitness session. But still, I can walk for a very long distance comfortably, comfortably. But in the past, I used to feel very tired, like extremely tired. So these are the types of the vehicles that you use, chap. If you want to use it for a town service, like from this point, maybe to that point, to another point. But we have very many uh circles here in my town. There are very many. So one circle takes you to one route, another circle to another route. Unlike Nairobi. Nairobi, it is the 
car number or is it what i don't know that is very different like the circle goes to any place depending on the number they just say number this goes to gidurai number this like they actually identify places even me if i want to go i will be told uh when you reach nairobi for instance if i want to go to my cousin's place or one of my relatives place you know i'm not going to use the circle to identify a place that i am going to i use the number they'll just tell me board car number this wow and those numbers represent locations like number 100 goes to this direction or place wow so a vehicle or a public service uh, vehicle can work in a specific route today and tomorrow it is in another uh, route which i really find it to be very disadvantageous because uh suppose you lose something no he's asking me if i want to board a car guys i am not tired wow I wish I had actually uh, set the distance, but still I can just, uh, it's only that most of our locations here are not on Google Map, like the specific location, live location where you are in. But I'm yet to research. <laughs> I want to start selling charcoal. And the shop that I just uh, looked at in the past, so we have a patient here being rushed to the hospital. So we have one of the biggest hospitals in Kenya here. Uh, when I say biggest, it's in terms of resources, in terms of the actually workers, the doctors, they are very experienced. Uh, my friend, how are you? This is my friend from my first video. I can't remember even the title of the video. How are you doing? I'm good. What was your name? My name is Nancy. Wow. I'm going towards uh an aptitia. Yes. So I'm just talking here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Guys, let me switch off this and then I'll be back. So guys, I've not yet reached my destination and it's already raining. But at this point I'll just take a matatu. It's actually very near. But the funny thing, I've been working and I don't feel anything. You know, that's that's what is surprising me today because now you know, like, it's just surprising me in some way. Let me show you the distance that I have come from. So my house where I live in, it's, it's not in the Google map. So let me try and show you exactly where I have come from. So as you can see, it's actually um 38 minutes or is it 35 minutes i don't know which one is it so let me expand it for you where i have come from guys this is where i've come from so this is uh, actually this is our neighbors their area is in uh, the google map and now me i come from just um ahead like some few meters from them so this is what uh, the google map could pick so this is how i have come oh the Oh, I think this is a parking area for. Oh. Okay. So, and then I reached here, Sinai Shopping Center. And then now, here I am. Guys, see the distance that I've come from 35 minutes. 35 minutes. And now this route, it uh, adds to Kitale, which is basically the route. The, you see this Matatu that's uh, going that direction? And then this other one goes to this direction. So me, I'll be adding this other one, but then it's, uh, it's raining. So I'm waiting for, uh, the rain to stop. Oh, I, I had not seen here. It's actually 2.5 kilometers, guys, and I don't feel anything. <laughs> this is funny for the first time in Eastern. 35 minutes by walk and then 2.5 kilometers. Habari. <laughs> <laughs> so guys um it's basically 3 or 1 p.m and the offices i think they'll be closed by five mostly it should be five but i really hope that i'll find it open
Yes. What's your name, sir? Jesse Olo. Sorry? My name is Jesse Olo. Jo? Jesse Olo. Oh, Jesse. Wow. Uh, do you consider this as natural or processed sugar? Hmm? Do you consider it as natural or processed? <laughs> you don't know. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, you know. It's only that you don't want to answer. <laughs> Where do you come from? Ki, ki. Where? Jeru. Ah, Jeru. Jerusalem, actually, guys, it's where I normally go to the gym. That's where the gym is located. And that is the common route that you normally see. So you've started from that direction, from there up to here. Yeah. So where are you heading? Yeah. Unaileke awapi? Mm. Marura. Wow. I'm, a, I'm also heading to Marura. What a coincidence. <laughs> I'm heading to that direction. So uh, for how long have you done this business? One year. One year. Wow. A lot of people that I meet, they have done it for one year and above. Meaning that it's a very good business. Me, yeah, I want to venture into charcoal, selling charcoal. Do you think it's a good business? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You understand English? Oh, our friend doesn't understand English. Okay. <laughs> so guys, um, I want to take uh, some sugar can or is it a sugar can? Uh, it's considered a natural. It's it's actually considered to be natural sugar, and I. I really hope it doesn't have any uh, effect. You know me, I'm going to the gym, so I don't want to add a lot of sugar. <laughs> so guys, I just came from the anti-crime office uh, to report the case to do with uh, my boss, uh, people or scammers using his name to scam his followers. And now they have told me that I, since I am not the complainant, my name is not being used or uh, my brand. So it is good if my boss himself goes uh, to the anti-crime unit in Migori or nearest is a place or location and report the issue. So that is the update and I have let him know about it so this is a public uh, facility a lot of offices are there and at some actually you know i've only come to do my filming out here because at least it's neutral i couldn't do the filming uh, like in the buildings itself written anti-crime uh, unit office or anti-crime office ocs office and all that so at least uh, what I have learned is that you can't go as a representative to report a case for someone. Like the complainant themselves must. How are you, sir? The complainant uh, themselves have to report the case to the police or to the crime uh, unit. So we have a lot of uh, offices here. This was one of them, constituency office, led by the member of parliament, or oh, it's not being seen. So the office of the MP is here. And again, these are the other offices that are within uh, the place that I am just from. Another one is this, the police station. This is our nearest uh, police station, INAP Teach. INAP Teach Police uh, Station. Uh, this is another one. This is the office of the MCA, uh, County Government of Wasingishu, Office of the Governor, Tununu Ward Office, Office of the Member of County Assembly. And we also have, uh, have this is a proposed work and Ministry of What. This one, uh, the Chief's Office. We also have the Chief's Office inside here. It's only that I was not that very confident to vlog within this uh, pr place. Let me look at the time because my kids are almost uh, coming out of school. 
so that uh, if I think I'll be late, I just board a vehicle or a piki piki or a boda boda and rush back home. So let me check the time. It's uh, 3.38. Hey, look at this. <laughs> Hey. 